Held at a public school that was once failing, Gompers Prep Academy, now a thriving school in Southeast San Diego, hosts a special naturalization ceremony. Special because this ceremony encompasses... Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light Great music... What so proudly we hail at the twilight's last a sports icon. It's time to redefine your, your future. Your decision to become a U.S. citizen now has become a reality. And the stories of hard work and opportunity, great things that are so much a part of our society. 50 people representing over 30 countries take the oath of allegiance. For which, for which I have here before, I have here before been a subject or a citizen. Meb Kefleski, an Olympic long-distance runner who became a naturalized citizen in 1998, is recognized and shares his experience. Being an immigrant and a refugee, you struggle through a lot, and I've been through those roads. He offers a message of hope. Life and marathon and education and work has a lot of similarities to be able to excel about hard work, perseverance, not giving up, because sometimes it's all about winning, but getting off your feet to be able to do it again, because you know, you, get, you, you fall seven times, but you get up eight times. He been through a lot, and to see what he accomplished was just amazing. Right? It's the American dream. Yeah. That's what it is. And for Thomas Estrada and his wife of three years, it's also a love story. He met his wife, who's from France, in Chicago. Uh, I was training in uh, Great Lakes, uh, Illinois, and I was on the Liberty train back to base, and I saw her sitting alone, and I asked her if I could sit with her. And they've been together ever since. And now she is among the 50 others who can call themselves U.S. citizens. Elizabeth Alvarez, KUSI News.